Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Photo Notes. My name is Tony Colangelo. And as per usual, uh, I'm here with my good friend, Wayne Capilli. Morning. Uh, hey, Wayne, how are you? I'm doing really well. Yeah, you know, I, I'm excited to be here. This is our uh, our first session, our first photo notes uh, video after the great PFRE conference in Vegas. And boy, we had a great time doing our um, photo critique on stage and presenting a, a number of photos. And I know that you and I had a great time even preparing for that session. Yeah, and when we were going through the pictures, we had 90 pictures that we were going through. One of the things that we were noticing was um, shallow angles. Yeah, yeah. So today, and you know, it was really interesting because I, I, I think we made reference to uh, uh, lens angle, camera angle in one photo, but in chatting with you after our session, I thought, you know, this would be a great topic for photo notes because shallow angles in and of themselves uh, can be okay, but when you combine them with another factor, they could really negatively impact uh, our images for real estate or for any other interior client, uh, architect, interior designer. And today, uh, um, I think it would be great to talk about that. So what I'd like to do now uh, is to share my screen and uh, just describe what I mean. So Wayne, here we have an overhead view of uh, a bedroom. And if you think about the panning element uh, on, our, um, on our tripod, there's that 360 degree circle that our panning element takes. And when we break up that circle in degrees, you know, from zero to 360, if we cut it in half, obviously zero to 180. And if we're gonna do a one point um, of this bedroom, then the length of our lens has to be at 90 degrees to do a really good um, uh, one point. Okay. Now it's interesting. Okay. It's not, not the, uh, would, it, would it be the length of the lens or the angle of the lens? Well, the, to me, that's the way I see it. The length of the lens okay. uh, has to be on that 90 degree axis. Okay. Okay, so it's interesting because, you know, we've been talking about oblique angles and our good friend Peter Lyons reminded us that an oblique angle is really any angle within the 180 degrees other than 90. So from zero to 89.9 and 90.1 to 180. So really, when we think about real estate photography, probably the most common angle is kind of like the, the sharp angle, mm -hmm. 35 to 45 degrees, you know, the standard shoot corner to corner, right? Right. Right. However, we can also take an, a shallow oblique angle. Yes, there are sharp oblique angles when we shoot corner to corner, but we could also shoot shallow, all right? Okay. And shooting shallow in and of itself isn't necessarily a bad thing. And I want to show this photo as an example of that. So here we see uh, a very shallow camera angle. This was shot for an interior design client of mine who wanted to, to maximize the space in this kitchen. And she designed this really funky sort of combination usage desk and drawer system, uh, system there. She really liked it and she wanted this detail shot. So given the configuration of the kitchen, I chose to do uh, or set up my camera to shoot on this very narrow, um, very shallow angle. However, and here's the key, I stood back and zoomed in, Great. all right? And so this was shot at 47 millimeters. And as you can see, the, the planes of the various surfaces, you know, if here, let me get my, uh, my paintbrush. Uh, the, the planes of this surface and that surface look realistic, you know, as if you and I were standing in this room, all right? If we take a look at this photo, we, we see essentially the same shallow camera angle, but 
The other factor that is involved in this photo that wasn't involved in the previous photo was how wide we're shooting, right? right? And as you can see, when you combine a shallow camera angle with shooting ultra effing wide, as <laughs> Scott Harkis likes to say, boy, are you pulling a whole bunch of danger and a whole bunch of hurt into the photograph, right? Yeah. And also when we're talking ultra wide, um, we're also, let's talk about three walls. So when you, when you're talking ultra wide angle and three walls, not only is there distortion off to the sides, the wall behind the bed is kind of making that kind of a trapezoidal kind of effect. So yeah, it's, um, here, let me get a different color and yes, I know exactly what you mean. So you're talking about from there to about there, right? This wall right here. Right. The thing that I wanted to show is look at the corners. Yeah. Look how, it, this doesn't look like a square room. It, it looks like a trapezoid. Yeah. It's almost like a, like, like a shallow triangle. I mean, the distortion is huge here. And we can visualize that if we were to take the dimensions of this huge king size, um, footboard, whatever you call it, we could easily fit that, you know, right in there. I mean, that's roughly yeah. the same thing. So the wide angle, taking a shallow uh, angle into the scene and shooting extra wide, ultra wide, can get us into a bunch of trouble uh, in our work. Yeah, and one, the last thing is... Just, uh, for the funhouse distortion, just take a look at the lampshades. The lampshade on the left is much bigger than the lampshade on the right. So, yeah. you know, as far as scale wise, um, this is actually, this really is a good size room and this is really a good size bed, but because of the wide angle distortion, this looks like a huge room with a tiny bed in it. Yeah, it looks like a tiny bed. And actually this chair in the bottom right corner, because with ultra wide angle, uh, the distortion that we get when we're, relatively close to our subjects and shooting ultra wide, that chair almost looks as wide as that king size bed. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely crazy. So the last thing that I wanted to talk about as it relates to shallow angles, Wayne, uh, I want to talk about this photo right here. Okay. Okay. Now, um, if we look, actually, this is straight out of camera. Nothing's been done to it. Uh, and I want to highlight something here. Uh, so typically, we see this as a one point. And the dominant characteristic of a one point is when all the length lines, the lines that take you from here to there, uh, converge at one point, OK? But here, uh, what we see, if we get rid of those length lines, the other dominant characteristic in a good one point is that the vertical lines have to be vertical. And as you can see, they are right there. But if we zoom in and look at the top of the door frame, the other consideration in a one point is that our horizontals have to also be straight and parallel, just like our verticals. And as we can see here, they simply are not. Our horizontals so, are not straight. Okay, so from the zoomed out, from the zoomed out thing, did you see it? That did you see that small discrepancy in the uh, one point? You know, at the, this was actually the last photo of a second day of a two-day photo shoot, and I was exhausted. I hadn't had lunch, and <laughs> normally I would pick up on these things. Um, but on this particular day, I didn't, which was I thought this would make a good example of if you are going to be shooting so shallow that you're really only one or two degrees off, um, off of a one point, then double check. Just take 30 seconds to double check. Make sure your verticals are straight. Make sure your horizontals are straight. Um, and that, you know, then you have your leading lines going in and let's get rid of those guidelines that makes for uh, a solid one point. So look at the difference between the actual one point 
and our extremely shallow angle. Now, yeah, even yeah, you, even just that little shift, you can you notice it's noticeable. And you know, if you're shooting for real estate, the agent might not pick up on it. And look, is it a terrible photo as a two point? No, it's not. Um, I think it's an actually attractive photo. But if you're shooting for a designer, if you're shooting for an architect, my goodness, an architect uh, can spot a one degree <laughs> difference at 100 yards. Uh, if you're going to be shooting for that clientele and you're this close to a one point anyway, well, holy jumping, just make it a one point. Also, what I wanted to point out with your where your camera position is, is I like the way that your one point where your camera is pointed out the door as opposed yeah. to, um, you know, moving the camera. So um, we're taking pictures of the door jam, you know, camera position. You're leading me out. You're leading me out yeah. the door simply by putting your camera and pointing it out where you want me to go. Exactly. So uh, I moved my camera position to a spot where my lens was pointed out here. Now, this was one of my ambient frames. I also have a frame for the view. Right out there is the Pacific Ocean. So that's what I wanted to, it's a great point that you made, rather than being centered on the door frame. Right, because the subject was, is the, the Pacific Ocean, not the, the door frame. The subject really is I want, I want the view to get taken out that door, which is why I opened the door. And as you can see, it was a windy day that day, and there's my shoe <laughs> <laughs> propping the door open because I wanted to lead the viewer out that door. So anyway, the, the bottom line point that I wanted to make is um, shallow angles are can be very, very useful, but don't use them um, ultra wide when your subject matter is very, very close to the camera because you're just going to accentuate that, that wide angle distortion. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Okay. So any, any other thoughts, Wayne? Nope. I think you covered it and um, okay. thank you very so, much. Great. Uh, on that note, thank you for joining us. Um, uh, we hope that you'll continue to join us. And not only that, please remember that uh, if you have a topic that you'd like us to cover, uh, please send uh, an email to myself or Wayne. Our contact information will be posted uh, at the end of the video. And as always, if you have a photo that you'd like us to critique, please submit it, send us an email, and we'll be happy to, uh, to review it uh, in a future episode. So that's it, bud. Okay. Thank you very much. And follow us on Instagram and on this channel. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone. Hope you'll join us again soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye now.